Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review on the two latest releases from Oscar de la Renta in the Bella range. I have Bella Tropical and Bella Bouquet. I'm gonna be letting you know what these smell like and how they compare to the rest of the range. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. I'm all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos like this. I do have a video on the rest of the Bella range, which I'll leave linked down below. And I also have my blog, SophieLondon.com, that goes through entire ranges. And I do have an article on the whole Bella range there. On my website as well, you can also get my fragrances, Empress Aphrodite, and my super concentrated soy wax candles, worldwide shipping, samples available as well. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. Cool, so Oscar de la Renta, is a fragrance house that's been around for a really long time. Obviously they're a fashion house first, but some of their classic fragrances have been bestsellers in decades gone by. Currently they really focus on this Bella range. And what I really like about the Bella range is that they're very affordable. So I picked up, I think these were 30 mils and they cost me about 25 pounds. You get 50 mil for like 35 and then the 100 mil for around 50 something. I'll leave the links below. They are available on Amazon as well. You can can get perfumes from Amazon. I know people are very nervous of Amazon, but if you get it from the brand's actual store, like I have a store on Amazon UK that I have made, um, and if it's, you can see that it is the brand selling it, then they are legit. The first one to come out was Bella Blanca, which is a lily and pear fragrance. Very springtime, green, refreshing, classic beauty. I know lily is a fragrance note, which I believe the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton likes. She wore a lily perfume to her wedding. It's very classy, a sort of English country garden scent. The Zen Bella Rosa, which is a, just a classic rose fragrance, like a floral bouquet with lots of roses in. The Zen Bella Essence, which is raspberry and vanilla, so it's a bit sweeter, a bit more nighttime. You then have Bella Night, which I really liked. It was a really refreshing um, sort of blossom perfume, orange blossom magnolia, quite spring-like but then it had a touch of a sugary saffron in, which made it really different and interesting. And yeah, I really enjoyed that, a Bella Night. And then we have these two new ones. I know these have been out in the States for a while, but um, they have only just both become available here in the UK. So Bella Bouquet, which is the blue one. So this kind of reminds me of the original Bella Blanca. It has a green opening note with bamboo, uh, green tea, and then it's quite floral. It doesn't have Lily of the Valley in, but it reminds me of Lily of the Valley. It's got a bouquet of magnolia, iris, jasmine, and some rose, and it's giving it a bit of a musky quality as well. It's a very classical, typical fragrance. I think if you like the original Oscar de la Renta fragrance, you might like this. We have Mother's Day coming up here in the UK. I think this would be a nice for your mom, for your grandma, someone that just likes a typical floral, pretty, English country garden type scent. Uh, very versatile, quite safe, but I think that makes it quite good for gifting. We then have Bella Tropical, the orange one, which is definitely a little bit more fun. So this opens with pineapple. So you're immediately in that sort of Caribbean tropical vibe. We have some coconut notes in here, but um, they're not sweet. And as it develops, I'm really getting a ylang ylang. Uh, ylang ylang is a tropical note um, that's quite a strong floral. This, it's used in Lancome's La Vie Belle Soleil Crystal, which is their tropically coconut ylang ylang fragrance. And this is definitely reminding me of that, though it is more affordable. And now as it's settling, I'm getting a driftwood and a sea note. So that smell of the ocean, slightly salty air, the wood and the sort of the trees around the ocean. So it really changes from being a pineapple fruity through the florals to become that sort of seaside, refreshing, um, salty sea air scent. So it's definitely a holiday feeling, summertime type perfume. I think I would actually class this because it settles to have that sea air note as the main note. I think I would class this in a sort of oceanic fragrance category, um, but it is incredible how 
how this goes fruity the floral then oceanic really changes it's definitely not as strong as the Livio Bell Soleil Crystal and that one is a very strong perfume so if you want something a bit lighter perhaps in a hotter climate this could, could be quite fun it's pretty versatile to be honest anyone that likes walking by like the sea the sea breeze I think would like this and um, if you're looking for something tropical that doesn't have a sweet coconut note in well my first recommendation would be my Aphrodite that's mango and palm leaves but this would be nice this feels very clean it's that clean sea air type vibe. So overall I definitely think the whole range of the Bella perfumes are Soki approved because they're great value for money, they're great for gifting. Um, the bottles are unique and different, they've really like tried hard with the bottles and if you're looking to gift a perfume and your budget's maybe like 25, 30 pounds, um, I think they're like pretty safe blind buys. Um, so they're definitely a Soki approved range. As always, I'll leave the links down below in the description where you can get these guys. Um, let me know what your favorite is from the range. I'll also leave the link to my video going through the others, of course. Um, but do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I do read all your comments. Uh, but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.